Good morning. Today we shall consider derivatives of distributions. How to differentiate functions which are not differentiable in the uh, standard sense? How to differentiate discontinuous functions? How to differentiate distributions? This is what we shall consider now. Let f of psi be a distribution given in a domain d, omega. Then the first derivative of that distribution, in fact of this uh, functional, with respect to the uh, variable x, j for j from 1 to up to n, partial uh, derivative, is defined by the formula. The partial derivative of the distribution f with respect to the uh, variable uh, x, j is minus the functional, but at the argument derivative of the test function psi, which is infinitely uh, times differentiable, is very smooth. So the differentiation we move from the distribution on the test functions. That's clear. It's very nice. And this is the definition of this distribu derivative of a distribution, which is, as we shall see later, is very consistent with the uh, derivative in the, um, in the standard uh, sense. So this, of course, is, is to hold this relation for all test functions, not from a chosen test function, but for all test functions. Good. If the distribution f is a uh, generalized function, that means uh, generated by a locally integrable function, then uh, the, the derivative, this formula, will look like that. The, the, uh, the derivative of the distribution, the very derivative, is minus, this minus, but the functional is generated by the function f, and then uh, the, uh, the differentiation will move for the test function here. Okay, that is very nice, and in fact, we see here better than differentiation we moved on the test function. We can uh, say that a derivative of a distribution is also a distribution. That is clear from here and even from this formula because derivative of test function is also test function. We can, uh, okay, so for the higher derivatives, for the higher derivatives, we see, we have very similar relation that derivative, partial derivative of order k with respect to x, j, of that distribution f, of this functional f, is the coefficient minus 1 to power k, and again and that distribution at the derivative of the test function of order k, deriva, partial derivative. So again we move the differentiation from the distribution on the test functions. And that is also for all uh, test function psi and again to say that uh, de any derivative of test function is also a test function. So in the case when the functional is a generalized function generated by a, a local integrable function, then this very formula, as this one is here parallel, uh, this formula for the um, generalized function will be the partial derivative equals this very co coefficient, but the functional is given by the integral, so that will be uh, integral of f of x 
times the partial uh, derivative of order k of the test function for every test function psi. Okay, that is very clear, very simple. Let us see the example. Find all derivatives of heavy side distribution. As we will remember, the heavy side distribution is the integral from zero to infinity of the test function. Because heavy side function is zero to from minus infinity to zero, so uh, um, and from zero to infinity where is one, then we have, as we remember, heavy side distribution is this one. Since heavy side distribution is generalized function determined by the Uh, uh, local uh, integrable function, heavy side step function, this. Then by the formula we have above is, uh, is uh, that, that it is the derivative is minus integral by the formula we have above. Okay, sorry for that. We have here by this very formula we have that derivative of the heavy side distribution is minus minus as we have seen integral from zero to infinity as it is and differentiation is moved on the test function psi if we have now is clear the uh, integral of the derivative is the function uh, alone so that will be minus uh, the test function in plus infinity minus minus plus uh, the values of the test function at zero. This is zero because test function uh, vanishes uh, at uh, plus minus infinity as, as we know. So, but we remain with f of x psi of zero, which is the definition of the Dirac's delta distribution. So, derivative of the uh, heavy side distribution is delta Dirac distribution. That's nice. Okay. Now, if we go for the further uh, derivatives of that heavy side uh, distribution. So then we shall have coefficient minus 1 to power k and that integral and we have here. So, we, by the integration, we uh, We reduce the order of the derivative from k to k minus 1, the coefficient remains, and we have that uh, the derivative at plus infinity, which is zero. But th this, uh, this uh, coefficient time minus will remain here, and we remain, uh, remain with the derivative of uh, order k minus 1 at uh, this, which is the value of the derivative of text, test function at, at zero. That is for k greater or equal than one. So we can note that uh, h of x is the discontinuous function at zero. However, uh, this uh, heavy side step function determines distribution which has all derivatives. They have all derivatives. We have the value of the derivatives even. Let us consider another example. Uh, consider the following distribution determined by trigonometric function. By sine, which is from minus infinity to plus infinity, test function psi times sine f of x, and a uh, derivative um, generated by uh, the function cosine, which is uh, again uh, the uh, integral from minus to plus infinity of the test function time cosine. So that we, co we go very simple by that formula. So the derivative here should be uh, derivative sine, which are uh, uh, corrected. So is minus of the derivative of this. If we apply partial uh, Differential by, uh, dif uh, integration by parts, we have that, uh, of course, m minus this minus and that uh, value from minus infinity to plus infinity because we take integral of the derivative. But that will be zero because psi of x in plus minus infinity is zero. But we remain with this 
plus because minus minus will give plus with this so the derivative of the uh, distribution generated by sine is the distribution uh, generated by cosine See, that is in parallel um, uh, property to that that uh, uh, derivative of sine is cosine derivative of sine distribution is cosine distribution the same fact we can observe here again we missed here d we shall correct so that is the integral by integration by parts integral of this derivative is this this will be zero again because psi is zero and here we have minus and we have minus distribution uh, generated by sine so again this parallel property that derivative of cosine is minus the, the uh, sine but uh, derivative of distribution generated by cosine is minus distribution generated by sine so this fact we have established here that's good for higher derivatives what will happen with higher devices so that only the formula is more co uh, com complex uh, complicated uh, in symbols but idea remains the same so if there exists a locally integrable function v in omega such that uh, the uh, u times this partial derivative equals this if th such function v exists that this integral is this for every psi then the generalized function this or very this one is the uh, generalized der derivative of u of this u of order uh, absolute value alpha okay so that is what we have uh, for higher derivatives if we look in the example if function u is exponent to x1 plus x2 then the, the the distribution generated by this function is fu which is a double integral from minus to plus infinity exponent times the uh, test function psi dx okay because by integration by parts we can see very easily because that this integral is this the integral so because the differentiation of exponent fu exponential function does not change the function so it's the same function we know that fact so that by partial uh, integration uh, integration by parts we get this the same for all test functions psi so in the sense as we say there exists such v this is the v so uh, uh, we can say the generalized derivative of u this u is the same function u as derivative uh, standard derivative of exponent to power x is exponent to power x this same same fact we have done okay for the next time we shall consider weak solutions solutions in the sense of distributions of differential equations thank you